The overall goal of this procedure is to measure in vivo phagocytosis in Drosophila to assess the involvement of specific genes of interest in apoptotic cell engulfment. This method can help answer key questions in the immunology and developmental biology fields about the mechanisms involved in apoptotic cell engulfment. The main advantage of this technique is that dispersed embryonic cells can be used easily and precisely measure in vivo phagocytosis levels. The implication of this technique extends toward the therapy of inflammatory disorders and autoimmune disease, as apoptotic cell clearance by phagocytosis is necessary for removing dangerous cells that cause inflammation. Begin by adding 200 adult female and 200 adult male fruit flies and a plate of fresh grape juice agar on yeast into a 50 milliliter conical tube. Close the tube with a sponge cap and incubate the flies in the light at 16 degrees Celsius for two to three days. At the end of the incubation, move the flies to 25 degrees Celsius in the dark for one hour and replace the old plate with a new plate without yeast. Allow the flies to lay eggs for two hours. Then, incubate the plate at 16 degrees Celsius for 26 hours. The next day, use a paintbrush to transfer the embryos into one milliliter of PBS supplemented with 0.2% Triton X100. After two washes, add one